You ask me, I bet I want it I guess I'm a bag for me Your body looks better on me Cause they get sweating for me Won't you bag for me Won't you bag, won't you bag Watch me bag for you What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl Hazel. And what are we doing today, Shorty? Today we are going to be doing a little story time about how me and him happened. Told this story so many times, but it's never been the focal main point. topic. Yeah, it's never been a focal point of a video, so there's still hella people that ask. Yeah. But before we hop into this video, I want to tell you guys about Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a way you can make and save money from home. You can make and save money at home by taking surveys, watching videos, what else, baby? Playing games. Playing games. Like literally anything. Literally anything, bro. Just sitting on your bed. Like, Just sitting on your bed, bro. You ain't even gotta go out to make some money. You ain't even gotta go out to make some money. Click the link below and sign up and check out all of the places where you can save and earn. Places like Amazon, Groupon, RJ, Target. And you get $5 just for signing up. So, who don't want no $5? Like, might as well get some, might as well get a free $5 and start saving on top of that. And also, it is free of charge to sign up. Literally, you get $5. Like, they pay you to <laughs> sign up. So, swipe up to sign up and get $5 up. Five up. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <up. laughs> but do that. Make that move. Swag Bucks. It's lit. Swag Bucks. It's lit. Thank you, Swag Bucks, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I Baby, your uh, neck, I heard that. I heard it too. You okay? I'm straight, straight, cuz. All right, back into the video. Let's start off this story time of how we met and how we got together and all that good stuff. Uh -huh. So, so it all started in the summer of mm -hmm. 2017. Yep. Um, basically. Baby, do not. Do not. I want to suck some. You're gonna die. Mm. I'm scared. So I was just living like my normal life, whatever. Mm. Um, and one day I was just walking around my house and I go into my little sister's room. She's like watching one of those YouTube compilations, you know, when they like do a video where they put like tons of videos together. It was like one of those rap compilations. Ten toes, and down challenge. ten toes down challenge like it was like a bunch of them put together i walked in i was like hey what you doing i was like hey city what you doing she was on her bed watching she's like, she's like oh, i'm just watching this video and she was like look um aren't they really good and she showed me milo and dom's video and i was like he's really cute mm -hmm. i was like dang he's cute on their video they have put their snapchat and their instagram and stuff i didn't have an instagram at the time but i did have snapchat so i was like let me add his fine self on snapchat because i mean what can i he's say he's cute and it wouldn't hurt to look at him on snapchat so <laughs> <laughs> so i was like oh he's cute like let me add him on snapchat and i had him on there for like a while i was like barely on snapchat so i didn't ever really watch his story or any of that but i had him on there for like a couple of months yeah, it was like it was like five to six months. To be yeah, exact. one night I was lit. Me and my sister Mia, <laughs> we were upstairs in our room. I had just did my makeup. We were dancing. Music was playing, and he had posted something on his Snapchat saying to um send him a picture of yourself, and he's gonna post you on his story. I don't know why. Like I don't know what it was that told me to do it. Cause I guess I was just lit. Like I don't know. I guess I was just like. Why Confident. not? Yeah, like I was just feeling myself that night. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, like, should I send him a picture? Is he even gonna see it? Cause I know he probably got a lot of people that watches his stuff. Running right time, I was getting sixty thousand viewers on Snapchat, so it was weird to me that you were literally like the third person I opened up. So I was like, should I do it? I was like, he's probably not even gonna see it. She's like, yeah, send it to him. Why not? He's gonna fall in love with you. Okay, I'll send him a picture. It was a picture that I had just taken like a few days ago before that when I was hanging out with some of my friends. So we'll insert the picture right here if y'all want to see what picture it was that he first saw, the first picture he ever saw me. It's going to be right here. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm holding it right now. Yeah, I sent that picture to him. I honestly like wasn't expecting a response. 
but I had seen he, repl he replied back to me and I was like, oh my God, Mia, he replied back to me. She was like, oh my God, what did he say? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. And like, I had opened it and he was like. Oh Lordy, oh Lordy. Yep, with hard eyes. Yeah, so we were just conversating back and forth and he was like, oh, do you have Instagram and this and that? And I was like, no. So I was like, no. But he was like, okay, well, um, if I give you my number, will you use it? And I was like, uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> and he has sent me his number I was really going to text him but I did not save it in snapchat and you know how like if you exit out the app and you didn't save the message it like disappears so when I seen like it had disappeared I was like I was kind of like mad that it disappeared because I really wanted to text you but I didn't want to ask him so you never told me all this you you always told me yeah I had your number I just didn't want to text you blah blah I didn't want to see him I didn't want to see him thirsty like she's never told me this bro okay well now you know so my whole life I was living thinking that she didn't like me when we first started talking Stop, okay. little did i not know you was thirsty thirsty definitely you get a drink of water excuse me just... the next day he has snapchatting me again so i was like okay this boy really likes me because why is he like he has no reason to be snapchatting me again i posted her and there was this girl i knew um there was this girl i knew that sent all laughing emojis to her picture because she was a hater it was only her i posted like five girls that night she was the only one that she responded to so i asked her i was like do you know this girl it was kind of weird to me so i asked her and i was just gonna like after she told me i was just gonna cut the conversation I wasn't gonna hold the conversation because if I shot my shot and I missed, I'm not going to try again. You didn't really shoot your shot though. I did shoot my shot. I sent you so my you number. So you was about to leave me alone. I sent. I you was about to leave me. Are you serious? So what made you want us to talk? Uh, just because I asked for your number. Yeah, because that showed me that you were still interested. But when I sent you my number and Whatever. never got a text, I knew you were up because you still you posted on Snapchat. You never text me, so I was like, okay, she just ain't interested. But I was genuinely asking her because I was curious. When she told me where she was from, I was like, okay, so she must know her. But it turns out she didn't know anybody. She was just being a hater, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, give me your number. And I was like... I, I bet. I was very interested in you. I thought you were beautiful. Like I told you, when I first met you, I put a stereotype on your head. Yeah, you're a jerk. So let me she's, tell you. No, listen, she's, so like, he's over here judging me in his head. He ain't even. He hasn't even met me yet. He's over here judging me, saying, "Oh, she's from Chicago. She's ghetto. She drinks. She she parties. She smokes. Like you're such a jerk." It wasn't the fact that you was from Chicago. It's just very rare that you find someone that looked like you that doesn't like attention and doesn't like partying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking on the behalf of anybody that's watching this video. I'm talking from experience. I've never ran into a girl that was as pure, mm -hmm. as innocent. But so beautiful, you know what I mean? My mama like, raised me right. Like I've That's never, why. like I, I swear, I've never, like even in middle school, never. <laughs> so of course, I'm like, it's not possible. You feel me? So I expected her to tell me she drank, she smoked, she loved the party, she went to clubs, like all that stuff. That's what I expected. After one day of conversation, even if you would have started acting super uptight and mm -hmm. like show no interest, I would have stayed persistent. Mm -hmm. But at first, it wasn't like a huge deal. Like I was just like, okay, that's just another pretty girl that's not interested in me. <laughs> you feel me? So after I shot my shot, that night I felt like I missed. Cause you didn't text me. I was sad. I was crying. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. So when when I got his number, like we actually started talking, talking, and like really started to get to know each other. <laughs> so it was crazy. I thought she was a catfish. I'm not gonna flex after. Cause also because I'm really shy, and he wanted to talk on the phone. Like literally the first day that we got each other's numbers. And I'm a really shy person. I don't like talking on the phone. He wanted to FaceTime, talk, all that. I was like. I was really, really shy too. So we finally, like the day finally came like a week later. It's only cause I'm that type of person. I don't want to get too deep until I know for sure that you're real. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been catfished so many times, bro. That's crazy. I got catfished by a dude. Yeah, that's another story time you need to do on your channel. Want, if y'all want that story time, let me know, bro. No, <laughs> let me know. I got catfished by a dude for months <laughs> <laughs> and months <laughs> and months. So, yeah, I thought she was a catfish, so I asked her to send me more pictures. Yeah, she sent me more pictures, but that didn't validate. I sent him I tons to, of pictures. It don't matter. You can, you can get that off of a Facebook that I wasn't right. friends with. You right. from? It didn't validate it yet. So, first, I wanted to hear your voice. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I heard her voice, I was like, her voice super sexy. Like, as soon as I heard her voice, I'm like. Same. <laughs> you feel me? I just spilled my soda and everything. So, it was like three days later after we first got each other's number. It was really late at night. 
and we had got on the phone and when i heard his voice i was like no listen like literally everything like literally y'all girls know <laughs> y'all girls know a man's voice is like our weakness like if you got a sexy cute voice like fellas fellas every fella Ooh. know every fella know when they're in that puppy love stage where they're really really feeling a feeling a girl they're that first time on the phone, bro. When you for, as long as she don't sound like yo, hey, what up? If she got a little petite, cute little soft voice, you're going to like the whole time. You you're gonna naturally equip that sexy voice, bro. And what then you, you know it was late, so his voice was like raspy. Like, nah, he just bruh. sounded so cute. I was like, oh my god, he sounds so cute. And literally everything was just pointing to catfish, 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 catfish. Because that night we were supposed to talk on the phone. Like I was making so many excuses. It was like two. We were supposed to talk on the phone two hours early, but coincidentally her phone got shut off that day. Yeah, you it did. That? No, it did for real. It did. Yeah, get so shut but off. I thought it was just an excuse, so I was like, it you know what? Day. I don't even care no more. But like, also I was kind of trying to stall it as well. I'm not gonna lie. Trust me, I, I already. Know. I was really nervous. Like I had really bad anxiety. Like especially because I was like, oh my god, he's cute. Like I'm so nervous. Like I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be talking on the phone with a cute boy. Like. But yo, I swear that first that first conversation that night was like magical, bro. It was. That's what really made me like. <laughs> what is like, that? I don't know. Just made me. <laughs> but it showed me, like you know, you can learn so much through text, but on the phone, you learn so much about a person. We opened up to each other super quick, and that's really rare because, like me especially, like. I don't open up to nobody and like for me to do that so quick like listen y'all like I'm just that I'm that type of person where I have to talk to you for a certain amount of months before I start getting serious there's like friends that I've known for years that don't know anything about my past because I just don't like opening up like that so like when I first started talking to him and I was like I just felt so comfortable like I don't know how to explain it it was just really weird that I opened up so quickly to you and like I would I, I don't know it was just weird at the week mark um, <laughs> she was telling me how she never had a boyfriend and I was like I'm gonna cuff you real so <laughs> I remember telling her that and she just laughed because you know how many boys have told me that before like I've heard a lot of things like how many boys how many men have told you that though <laughs> I'm not one of these little boys out here. But listen, y'all, like, I've been through so many, like, situations before him. Like, there was, like, two or three situations before him that they all happened the exact same way. We would talk for a few months, and then they would back out because they weren't serious about me. Like, I heard all the sweet talking before, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, whatever, he's gonna get bored and leave in a few months. Like, I wasn't taking him serious at first, to be honest with you. But yeah, so, like, we were just talking on the phone. FaceTime and texting for like three months straight. Three months in. Boom. Her birthday's coming up. Three months. We have not seen each other in person, but we were together. I asked him out. Nah, he listen. Hold yes. on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I asked her out. She said no. Then the next day she asked me out. That that ain't fair, Because bro. you even said he wasn't serious when you asked me. No, I was I serious. I knew he, he asked me out like in a joking way. I was like, he's not even serious. It was in a me. joking way, but I was serious. If you would have said yeah, we would have been officials. No. I wouldn't have been like, nah, I was just playing. So it was like one of those, you want to be mine? We had already said, like, I love you to each other and everything. <laughs> That's crazy saying that out loud. Like... <laughs> But hey, um, yeah. I've never got teary eyed and actually shed a tear telling somebody I love them for the first time. Never. Mm -hmm. Like I literally, I literally like basically started crying when I first told her I loved her, bro. So yeah, he had Super told me he dead. loved me on FaceTime. He told me he loved me on FaceTime for the first time. And when he told me, I was like so like taken off guard. But I know I love him too, but I just didn't want to say it right then and there. He told me, he even said it. He was like, you don't have to say it back. I just want you to know. Her birthday was coming up. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But it was around the time where we were, well, not we, but where, like, her doubt skyrocketing. You know what I mean? Where she really started feeling like we weren't going to work because we were long distance. We were never going to see each other. I told her, at, like, three months is when we're first going to see each other. Only because I felt like that was, like, the perfect time frame. You know what I mean? Give us that gives us three months to get to know each other. And she hit me with that. Maybe we should 
hold things off until we see each other. In my mind, I'm like, if we hold things off, we're never going to see each other. Yeah, around this time, like, looking back at it, like, I feel so bad for, like, everything that happened because I was, like, really pushing you away because I just had a lot going on personally. Like, one of my friends had just died. I was in college. Like, I just had a lot going on. Like, I was just trying to figure a lot of things out. And I was just really in a bad, like, headspace. So I wouldn't even want to be talking to him. Sometimes, like, he'll text me. I wouldn't really want to, like, talk to anybody. So I was pushing him away a lot. And honestly, if he would not have came to see me, we probably wouldn't even be here right now. I was um trying to be understanding. But it's hard being somebody that wants to be there for somebody. But you can't. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to be there for her. I wanted to be there for her mentally around that time because I couldn't be there physically. So I was trying to comfort her. She was trying to find herself around that time. So And then things just became difficult in a way because we were both starting to doubt it. It wasn't just her. I was starting to doubt it because, like she said, like, she was in a bad place. We, were, we weren't talking much. I was just like, oh my God. I started to feel like she just wasn't there anymore. You know what I mean? I started to feel like we were becoming distant. I literally saved up $2,000. I wasn't making much money. Like the only money I made was off my, like off of me recording people. I used to do promos on my Instagram. You know what I mean? So I really had to hustle for my money. I scraped up like two bands and I text her sister like, Yo, how, how do you think she would feel if I was to surprise her for her birthday? Like, do you think she, that do you think she would be intimidated by that? Do you think she would be like, you know what I mean? Do you think that would scare her away? And she was like, no, she would love that. I told her since I was coming and everything. I told her the date. I bought the tickets right after I stopped texting her sister. So I bought the tickets. And if she wasn't responding to me from the time that I stopped talking to her, from the time that I made it to Chicago. And I'm like, yo, where are you at? Little did I know her phone got turned off. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid for not trying to get, get in touch with her through Snapchat. So I kind of surprised her and her whole family. <coughs> what the heck, man? Uh, <laughs> you okay? I the chip, huh? So a week before that, I told her I bought her a big package for her birthday. Drink some water. I bought her a big package for her birthday, and it will be there a few days before her birthday. So she was expecting a big package. She sent me her address by accident. What's by accident mean? You sent it by accident. You never knew I had your address. No. You, that's why you asked me while I was down there, like, how'd you know where I live? Mm -hmm. You told me you bought those extensions. Mm -hmm. We were just talking, you know, having random conversations. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I just bought my hair extensions. I was like, oh my God, but I just spent like $300. And he's like, oh my God, no, you didn't. Are you crazy? I was like, yes, I did. And I screenshotted like my email receipt that I got from him. Like, yeah, I really spent $300 on some extensions. And stupid me, like he could. I already knew, like when I first saw her, I wanted to surprise her in some way. So I saved that address. I literally saved the picture on no stalking you creepy weirdo. stuff. I don't care. When they got my rental and I went to the mall, I bought her an MK necklace, some MK earrings. And um, yeah, I got I just got you the necklace and the earrings, mm -hmm. right? So her sister was in college at the time, so her and her family went to pick um pick her up from school. Her phone was off at the time, so she told me when they left and was like, I'm gonna text you when I get back home. So I'm like, alright, bet. So literally <laughs> I drove past her house to figure out which house it was, and once I seen the house, I was like, alright, mom. Cause my mom came with me because I'm I wasn't old enough to get a rental. <laughs> so I got me and my mom the ticket so she could get my rental. We were literally circ circling the block and then we parked like on the side around the corner. So I'm like, So right, you were just parked there waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to get a hold of her sister. I can't. So I text her. I was like, um, baby, I just got the email saying that your um package is um up the street. So she was like, Okay, I'll just go get it later. I'm like Go get it now. She was eating cereal. She's like, I'm eating cereal. I'm like, eat it outside or something. So she... Wait, can you explain, like, how you were feeling during this whole time? Yo, I was so nervous the whole time. Like, and I knew she's... Because she... he was he was sitting in front of my house waiting for me while he was texting me. He was, like, trying to get me to come outside. So and I know this I was, whole time, you were just sitting there waiting for me. I know I was acting super weird because she even asked me. She was like, why are you acting so weird? That morning when I first woke up, he was like, hey, baby, um... I love you. I just want you to have a great day, and I hope today is the best day of your life. I and I was at, like, I was at my okay. I was at my grandpa's house. I was like, oh. Okay. I was at my grandpa's house. I was in the shower, just like, bro. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Her sister. <laughs> 
sister won't text me back. I ain't got no inside, man. This is just... So, he was being weird from the beginning of the day. Like, just super happy. And I was like, okay, like, why is he so happy? I was like, okay, but whatever. I'm sitting in front of her house. I'm, I'm trying to get her to come outside. She is not listening. I'm like, yo... Y'all, because he was like, okay, um, yeah, I sent you something for your birthday. The package should be there. I got a text message saying it's there. I was like, okay, well, I'm busy. I'm eating cereal. Uh, <laughs> so She was like, I'll just wait on them to knock on the door. I'm yeah. like, bro, can you please just go sit outside because they're just going to leave it out there. You live in Chicago. Somebody's going to steal the package. <laughs> I worked earlier that morning. I still have my work clothes on because after I got at work, we went to go pick up my sister and we we're doing a few things. So I still had on my work clothes. I was really bummy that day. I had no makeup on, nothing. I was just eating cereal. And yeah, I was like, I was not trying to go outside. All right, so she was sitting on the porch <laughs> eating her cereal. There's this big bush like right by her front yard. Not in her front yard, but the next door neighbor's front yard that blocks the vision. Mm -hmm. So I got out the car, walked around the back, and I'm just sit standing behind the bush just looking at her like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> no, be honest. What was, what, what was your first impression of me in person? It was better than I thought it was going to be. It's only one thing that rubbed me the wrong way. I, I just felt like, okay, well, did I do something wrong or something? I walked around the bush. She was like. <laughs> oh. She dropped her cereal and everything. No, I didn't. No, but she up. set her cereal down. She stood up and I hugged her. And we've been talking for three months. Every like every conversation pertained when I first see you. I'ma just give you so many kisses. I'ma kiss you this. I'ma do this. I'ma do this. Like I'ma just hug you forever. So we hugged, and for any long distance relationship, they hug, and then right when they release, they kiss. Mwah. Listen, so, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. So we're hugging. I'm just hugging her sisters in the window, like oh, recording us and stuff. <laughs> Right when we let go, I was trying to kiss her, and she's, like, pulling away from me, like, and I'm I like... I feel so, like... Listen, can I explain? Yeah. Can I explain? I already told y'all I was super shy. Like, that's just how I am, especially when I like you. You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, that caught me completely off guard. I'm in my work clothes, wearing a little Caesars hat, um, joggers, my hair was mm -hmm. in a ponytail. Like, I was eating cereal. I had no makeup on. Like, I look like trash like complete trash and like here's this boy i've been talking to for three months you know what i'm saying like the first time you saw me i wanted to like impress you so i was just like oh my god my face i need to cover my face right now like i do not want him to look at me i was bright i had a pimple like i was just busted so i was not expecting that like he he just caught me completely off guard when he walked around that bush i was just like my i did not even think like i was like oh my god is this really <laughs> happening i did not believe it was real so when you came, like I don't know, I was just super like nervous and shy. Like, I didn't know what to do. Like I was just super shy. I don't know. I <laughs> and didn't I already, need to. Yeah. So I told her to get dressed. Just get ready, and we'll go out to eat. Go out, do whatever. So, um, I was like, okay, let me hurry up and go upstairs to get ready really, really quick. My hair was frizzy. It wasn't a ponytail. Mm -hmm. I, I had no makeup on, and I take forever to get ready because y'all know I like to do my makeup, and I was trying to look cute. But I couldn't even look cute because I was rushing. Well, outfit. I remember that. You remember what I was wearing? It was the um the black, red, and beige leggings. Mm -hmm. And was it a black shirt? Mm hmm Yeah. And what kind of shoes? I wasn't looking at your feet. I was looking <laughs> at your face. I was wearing my black vans. And how was my hair done? You had it down with a hat. You how was my hair done? You had it down. But was it straight, curly? It was straight. Right? No. But For anyway, real? <laughs> so anyway. It was how it was. No. I was rushing, so my hair, I didn't even do my hair. It was down, I remember. You're right, baby. It was how it was, my yeah, hair. you didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't do my hair. I just put it down, like, finger combed it, and threw a hat on because my hair was just messed up. I did not have time to flat iron and curl it, none of that, because I did not want to keep them waiting like I that. I and we just hung out every single day. Yeah. Like, it was just fun. And literally, like, we left, and she came to see me, like, two weeks later. Yeah. She came down to Georgia for two I weeks later. I couldn't get enough for you. For 10 days. I remember it was like every single day. Like we were count from the day that I left, we were counting down <laughs> to the next time. Yeah. So like I have finally came to see him. At first it literally started, we saw each other for five days straight. And then after that it was 10 days. And then it was two weeks. Then it was a month. <laughs> and then Yeah, it I used was, to come stay for like a month at a time. So and then it, we was just like, get you a one way. And we had decided when you go back, and she moved in. And I ended up moving in. Ten months. At our ten month mark. And I didn't want to. I wanted to wait for our twelve month. I mean, yeah, 
till our one year. It was only two months later, so I was like, okay, like he was like, just come on, just move in with me. And like, all right, I'm finna flex for a second. We 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 deserve to be able to flex. Okay. So just name one couple. Now let's just put out put out the whole timeline. Boom. She saw a viral video. Added the dude on Snapchat. The dude hit her up on Snapchat. They for and also, what are the chances? What were the chances of you seeing my? chat right out of 60,000 people mm -hmm. come on come on you feel and me? i wasn't even gonna send them a picture that day like and that was her first time me. and that was her first time ever hitting me up mm -hmm. surviving a long distance relationship for three months to this i mean we were long distance for 10 months though um, i know what i'm saying before we oh, yeah. met each other so yeah damn we we're a long distance relationship for 10 months that's crazy name a couple that's better than us i'm just Y'all can fight me if you if you disagree on God. But um. But yeah, that's our epic love story. Ooh, a lot Romeo of y'all been wanting Juliet, to know. Ooh. A lot of y'all like always constantly ask us that question, like how did you guys meet? How how was the long? Like we told y'all our story from beginning to end. Hopefully, um, you know y'all heard everything you want to hear because we basically said everything. This video is gonna be super long. But I right, y'all, we love y'all. Stay up. Don't forget to like this video, bruh. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, bruh. Show. Yeah, comment if you think me and babe are couple goals. Soulmates. Everything about you is so great, girl. It's the feeling you give me. You show me the real me. You I'm got me so on the D for a gig Y'all, it Whenever is 3 o'clock in the morning. We about to bounce. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. We love y'all. But, <laughs> should I hit him with him, baby? Yep. Should I hit him with him? Do it for the one time. Should I? Mm -hmm. But as always, as always, as always, sing it with me, baby. <laughs> as always, as always, may God bless us all, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta screw this off first. Let's screw it off. Yeah, cause I can't. You ask me about a whiny. I guess I'm a bag for me. Your body looks bad on me. Cause they get sweating for me. Won't you bag for me? Won't you bag? Won't you bag? Watch me bag for you.